Senna is a long-ranged marksman champion with amazing utility and late-game scaling. She can be played in both the AD carry and the support position, and in this Senna guide you get everything you need to know in less than 5 minutes. Senna's biggest weakness is her lack of defensive stats. She is very easy to kill during all-in fights, so champions that excel here can be tough matchups for you. Senna does amazing in poke matchups though, because she will always come out ahead in these situations. Trading back and forth lets you play around your superior attack range, and it also benefits you long term due to your passive. Senna's passive is quite wordy, but in order to use it effectively, you only need to know the following. All your relevant combat stats scale with soul stacks, and you get souls by landing at least two consecutive hits on an enemy champion while also dealing bonus damage. Therefore, it is optimal to go for smaller traits triggering your passive, and then back off until your passive's short on champion cooldown is ready again. You can also simply collect souls on the floor after they drop from dying minions, but keep in mind that the chance for a soul to spawn is higher when you did not kill that minion. So this is more reliable for Senna support than for Senna AD carry of course. Another reason why you will always come out ahead when you fully embrace shorter trades while avoiding all ins is your Q spell. Your attack speed scaling with Senna is quite weak, but you can use your auto attack and your Q in quick succession. When you back off afterwards, not only are you allowing your passive to come off cooldown again, but your Q as well. This hit and run playstyle is very difficult for the enemy to deal with, because while Q deals damage to them, it also heals Senna at the same time, effectively negating the damage they deal back to you. The slow you apply with Senna's Q is also a very nice setup for your W skill shot. Senna's W is another long ranged damage tool that you can use in trades, but it also comes with crazy utility due to its rooting effect. This is a huge playmaking and zoning tool which can be used both offensively and defensively. In teamfights, where the enemy team is grouped together, it is not unlikely that you will snare multiple enemies at once with the spell, since its effect is applied in a small circle around its primary target. This also allows you to fire Senna's W at a dying minion to instantly root all nearby enemy champions without any kind of delay. Senna's E spell is a strong utility tool and also a reliable panic button. Senna might be squishy and immobile, but the extra movement speed in combination with the fact you are now untargetable outside of melee range is oftentimes enough to get you out of trouble regardless. Senna's ultimate is amazing for teamfights. The concept is similar to your Q since you both deal damage to the enemy and protect yourself and your allies at the same time, but your ultimate's hitbox is much wider while also having global range so you should be able to hit the subscribe button with it. You can always assist in fights and skirmishes no matter where you are on the map, and you can also occasionally snipe a fleeing low health enemy with this. Now the runes and items I'm going to show you can technically be used for both Senna support and Senna AD carry, but they are more geared towards AD carry players. However, I do have something special for all the support players out there at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Anyway, you've seen how important and impactful Senna's abilities are. Therefore you want to pick First Strike, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery and Approach Velocity with Presence of Mind and Legend Alacrity secondary. Simultaneously being in the Precision Tree and in the Inspiration Tree is important, since they give you access to two very strong mana runes, namely Presence of Mind and Biscuit Delivery. With these you will always have the resources to actually cast your powerful spells when you need them. As for your Keystone, Fleet Footwork is viable too, but I recommend First Strike. This rune perfectly complements your long ranged poke playstyle, allowing you to accelerate your item build while also dealing bonus damage. Additionally, the other two minor runes on the inspiration path are just way too good on Senna. Magical footwear is always crazy on marksman champions because saving money there allows you to get your items faster, and approach velocity is a perfect combo with Senna's Q spell greatly improving your kiting potential. You rush the item eclipse while also getting a tier of the goddess on your first base to start stacking it right away. Senna has good synergy with Lethality due to her passive and her Q spell, and Eclipse also perfectly triggers with your Q auto combo, dealing its bonus damage while allowing you to safely disengage afterwards. Next you upgrade your tier to Mura Mana for even more burst damage, further enhancing your powerful spells. After finishing boots you get Black Cleaver, as Senna makes perfect use of the armor shred, the ability haste and the increased kiting potential. You round out your core build with Ginzo's Rageblade, converting your passive crit chance into even more powerful on hit damage, while also amplifying the bonus damage from your passive and from your mana. You then still have one slot left to optimally itemize against the biggest threats on the enemy team, so choose wisely. Again, this works best on Senna AD carry, but as I've promised you can check out my favorite Senna support build by clicking the link on your screen right there.